New image of three, I slash ATLAS, changes everything. The kind of frame no one expected to see this soon, or at all. Captured weeks ago and only now surfaced, it shows something that breaks our models. A deep blood-red coma made almost entirely of carbon dioxide. The numbers aren't shy either. About 70 kilograms of CO2 per second venting like a comet, while stubbornly refusing to act like one. So why hold this back? Why the delay? Unless this object isn't what it was assumed to be. Or worse, it is, and that's exactly the problem. August 2025. NASA's infrared surveyor, S-P-H-E-R-E-X, begins a fresh observing run. Target, 3, I slash A-T-L-A-S, sitting roughly 3.2 astronomical units from the Sun, out near Jupiter's orbit. That's where ordinary comets start to stir. Sunlight warms their ices, water begins to sublimate, jets carve tails, and the dance begins. Not this time. Spherex didn't see water. It saw carbon dioxide, a glowing, expanding sphere about 348,000 kilometers across, almost Earth to Moon distance. Not a tail, a shell, nearly pure CO2 flowing at 70 kilos a second. Imagine the mass of a person disappearing every second. And still, no ion trail, no water-driven jets, just the coma. Here's the issue. At this distance, water normally dominates the outgassing. Water vapor builds pressure, powers jets, and sculpts the iconic tail across the solar wind. 3 i slash ATLAS ignores the script. It emits CO2 only in bulk. Spectra say H2O exists, locked in with organics, but it's not escaping. Why? One idea. CO2 outgassing cools the surface, acting like a thermal blanket that slows the warming needed for water to sublimate. Another, the water sits deeper, buried beneath insulating layers of dust and ice, out of reach of sunlight. Reasonable? Maybe. But the coma is too big, too symmetric, too steady. It doesn't look like chaotic geysers, it looks structured. Comparisons to cold, distant comets from the Kuiper Belt or Oort Cloud help, until they don't. Those don't blow this much CO2, not here, not like this. If the coma raised eyebrows, the core blows up the scale. Early Hubble hints suggested a tiny nucleus, a few hundred meters, something like 2i slash Borisov in size. Predictable, cold, small. Then Spherex's near-infrared data flagged an unusually strong bump around one micron, a reflected light excess that wouldn't quit. Models were rerun, then rerun again. They kept converging on a shocker, a nucleus possibly approximately 46 kilometers across. 46. That's colossal. Bigger than the vast majority of known comets, over a million times Borisov's mass. So why didn't we see it earlier? If it's that big, even without a tail we should have noticed, it's gravity tugging subtly on background stars, it's dust fogging a wide halo. But Hubble finds no sprawling dust cloud, no ion stream, no violent jets, just a soft red haze and quiet. Enter the second hypothesis. Maybe we're not seeing the core at all. Maybe greater than 99% of the brightness is sunlight bouncing off micron-scale grains in the coma. That would yank the nucleus back down to normal. But, where's the dust tail? Why is the coma so smooth if it's a swarm of particles, and the reflectivity curve doesn't look like a random spray? It hints at symmetry, a consistent, possibly uniform surface or distribution, not the jagged, eroded chaos we expect. Astronomers call it symmetric reflectivity, a pattern that suggests regularity, almost control. So what are we looking at? A giant icy body cloaked by its own veil? A smaller object hiding inside a deceptive glow? Or something we don't have a box for? An interstellar visitor with geometry? 
The coma is too wide, the core is either impossibly large or suspiciously disguised, and the water stays quiet. Not absent, spectra catch it, mixed with CO2 and organics, but suppressed. In the 2.5 to 3.5 astronomical unit zone, water ice should wake up, venting jets and driving a tail. 3i slash ATLAS refuses. Some models put its water loss near 4.5 kilograms per second, about a tenth of what we'd expect. It's like the object is hitting snooze or hiding. Then there's the timing. SphereX gathered the data in early August, yet the public saw almost nothing until much later. No splashy presser, just a quiet blog update. Caution, protocol, maybe, but a small, loud minority remembers a pattern. In 2017, Oumuamua acted comet-like without visible outgassing, picked up speed with no thrusters, tumbled strangely, and vanished. Now 3 i slash atlas is serving a remix. Bigger, brighter, closer. Most researchers still say it's natural. An outlier, not an anomaly, not artificial, not intentional. Others, like Harvard's Avi Loeb, aren't convinced. Symmetry and reflectance, an odd trajectory, a missing tail. He sees the breadcrumbs of technology, something made, not merely formed. It sounds radical, until one object forces a rewrite. It only takes one. For now, 3i slash ATLAS drifts sunward, toward its stress test. We watch. Whatever this thing is, it's not done surprising us. A coma that shouldn't exist, a core that shouldn't be that big, and a silence that feels intentional. This was supposed to be a comet, a frozen relic from another star system. Predictable, harmless, cold. The deeper we look, the stranger it gets. Maybe that's why the image was late, why the data felt buried, why the talking points were muted. Some things aren't ready to be explained. Others were never meant to be understood. But we'll keep looking. The sky doesn't lie, and neither does the silence between the stars. Every observation, every delay, every unexplained detail tells its own story if we're willing to listen. If you want the story beneath the headlines and beyond the noise, subscribe and like, so this reaches more eyes and more minds who care about the truth. And if you want to go deeper, further than the official statements, deeper than the surface level reports, become a member. You'll gain early access, exclusive behind the scenes updates, and a front row seat to discoveries that challenge what we thought we knew about the universe. Here, we don't just report events, we connect the dots, question the silences, and ask the questions no one else dares to. Because in the end, some truths are hidden, not in what's shown, but in what's kept quiet. And together, by watching, questioning, and refusing to look away, we might just uncover the story that was never meant to be told. This. This is only the beginning.